I was just in almost chronic pain with it. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Uh, I would wake up in the middle of the night in pain or I wouldn't be able to lay a certain way because of the pain I was experiencing with my shoulder. So it really got to be a real problem with, you know, with my quality of life. Upper extremity injuries are extremely common. It's one of the most common reasons people go to the emergency room. On a normal uh, shoulder x-ray, there should be a space between the ball of the shoulder and the socket. And you can see on Nancy's x-ray how the, the space is gone. So she was certainly bone on bone. She had worn off all the cartilage between the ball and socket of her shoulder. In Nancy's case, she had arthritis and she had a rotator cuff tear. So in the past, we would just replace the ball of her shoulder and she would have limited motion and still have pain. In 2004, the reverse total shoulder was FDA approved and now we can eliminate her pain and also give her good range of motion. The normal anatomy, the way you were born, the ball is on your arm and the socket's on your shoulder blade. When you get a reverse total shoulder, we place the, the metal ball on your shoulder blade and the plastic socket on your arm. So it's opposite of the way you were born. Nancy's recovery will be quite rapid. Uh, it's one of the quicker recoveries of shoulder surgery. So I expect her at one year to have all her motion, all her strength back, and no pain. That's about 90% of the patients. They're only in an immobilizer for two weeks. They start moving their arm a little bit after two weeks. By six weeks, they're in therapy. By 12 weeks, they're out swinging a golf club. So it's a very rapid recovery compared to other shoulder surgeries. So it's been two weeks since my surgery. I don't have that chronic nagging pain in the back of my arm. So I'm chomping at the bit anxious to get my rehab started and uh, to see how well I do. I just can't wait to experience and explore the parameters of my new shoulder.